Blessings and greetings everyone. Today we are going to be working on these pots. We need to add a little pizzazz in them. We do have some annuals that have that are trying to come back. They generally come back every year, the majority of them, but we're going to just add a little bit more to them to give it that true curb appeal. And what we're going to be doing, we're going to be adding these plants here right here. Uh, so this is for the height. We got some salvia right here for the height. I'm going to break these up and add one per pot. And for the color and the pizzazz, we have, um, it's called a blanket flower. And they have various colors. And to give us that, that drape feel, uh, these plants will drape down the actual pot. Um, and it's going to add color as well. Uh, we have some purslane, so yeah, we're gonna add some of these, and we're gonna just kind of liven it up. And of course, I will keep you all updated. So let's get started. So we're gonna start out with this one. A lot of these are flowers; they're gonna be coming back. I'm not gonna really disrupt these. I just really add to them every year. It's going to give it that full effect. So for the center, like I stated, um, I'm going to have the red salvia. See, I use it every year, same thing. I'm going to put my red salvia right here in the center. Give it that height. And let me go grab it. And with these, I only buy one because I can easily divide them up to optimize my growth. So all I'm going to do is just break them apart like so. One is going to have more than one, so uh, I put this one over here for the second one. And I try not to disrupt the root ball at all. Because sometimes they do get shocked. I try not to shock them too much because I want the color to go ahead and, and pop. So that's the center. I'm leaving this here. This is actually going to bloom as well. So I have one of these on both. They come back every year. Now for the, the sides. Remember I, I wanted to drape down. So uh, we're going to have color kind of just spilling over on the pot. So let me grab... And it don't take that much really to fill this up. If you can see, I'm already kind of right there at the edge. So this is, um, I might not be co correctly pronouncing it, but it's P-U-R-S-L-A-N-E. Pucelin, I love them. I just know the plants. I know them when I see them. And this will give me, I add these to this every year. Let's break it up just a little bit right there. Now just nestle that down in there. Pack it back down. And if you can imagine what's going to happen, it's going to grow and then it's going to spill over. It's going to spill over and give me color. And I'm going to add one right up in here. Add another one. I love these colors. They just pop. They're beautiful. And I'm not sure whether you know these are like succulents. You can actually take a piece of this and place it in the ground and it'll grow as well. So a lot of growth potential here. So like I said, just tuck it in the ground, pack it in. And now we're gonna add one more here, that yellow one. that color it's beautiful it's only like a dollar 48 got these from um uh, from home depot i'm gonna do the same thing 
Let's pack it in. So that, that's it, you know. I'm gonna water it, water it down, and let's go over to the next one. So here we go with the next one. Same concept. Just gonna take everything out, clean it up real quick. I'm keeping this one. This came from last year. Keeping that one in. And just like before, center. My, my height is going to be in the center. To add that contrast. Height in the center. Then we'll come back. With some color around the edge. Love that color. Really pops. And like I said, it's just going to flow over the pot. It's like a spilling over of color. And, and I'm growing this in the full sun, okay? These are perfect for full sun. Um, my entry point gets full sun in the morning, uh, morning sun, and as the day progresses, uh, it, it's shaded in the, in the afternoon. So, if you want to know something that is, is pretty hardy in the full sun and it's drought tolerant, still got to water it, don't get me wrong, but it's nowhere near as much water. It doesn't cause nowhere near for that much water. Got a mushroom or something going down here. I'm going to sit this one right down in here. Same thing. it in. I mean, we're going to water it. And it's just that easy, y'all. So, we're going to have color here. These are going to get taller. We're going to have that pop of bright colors. And we're going to have draping down the colors all along to the side. So, that's what it looks like right now. And as it develops, I'll give you an update. So, y'all be well. And whatever y'all do, make sure that y'all keep on Growing, grow.